Assalamualaikum my dear students. How are you all? I think you are all well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIEBS Swimming School. I am Mohamed Ali Amin Opu and assistant teacher of mathematics National Adiyan University School Morning Shift. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 2. My dear students, so let's start our class. Our today's lecture number is 27. You have no homework today, okay? Our today's topic is what problem? Page number is 94, problem number 7 and 8. This means that we will solve only two problems today, problem number 7 and problem number 8 from the page number 94. Okay. The students, look at the board. I have already write down the questions on the board. It is page number 94, question number 7 is Shumon bought a book of 48 taka and color pens of 36 taka. How much taka? did he spend the students we should write down the 48 taka and 36 taka in the right side because we need to find out what is the expenditure okay that's why we can write down shuman bought shuman bought we have not enough space in a single line that's why we can write shuman bought a comma a book of a book of 48 taka okay you can consume this line in the left line that's why we will write down it is frequently a book of 48 taka and other color pens color pens color pens of 36 taka so what I have write down here Shumon bought, we have write down Shumon bought a book of 48 taka, a color pens of 36 taka. Okay, we should write down all the numbers in the same column to add or subtract, my dear students. Now, look, there is only one unit in a single line taka, and here is also taka. That means the units are same. When the units are same, we will do add or subtract. In here, the question is what is the total expenditure how much taka did he spend this means that what is the total expenditure that's why we should total it we should sum it we should add it okay <clears throat> so the addition sign will be here and we should add 8 with 6 if we add 8 with 6 we will get 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so 6 and 8 makes 14 14 4 will be there and 1 will be in our hand now 4 and 3. 4 and 3 makes how much? 4, 5, 6, 7. It is 7. 4 and 3 makes 7. 7 and 1 <coughs> makes 8. So 84 taka is the total cost of these two things. Okay. So total is spent. He is spent. You can write down therefore uh, Shumun or he. He is spent. He spent 48 taka. The answer will be. 48 taka sorry it's 84 taka sorry it's 84 taka so he spent 84 taka is our total expenditure i hope my dear students you have understood now the next problem the same page question number eight that means page number 94 again question number eight is sabita has been reading a book she reads six pages in a day she reads six pages in a day how many pages will she read in one week in one week how many days are there we need to calculate at first okay that's why first of all you should write down we know we know one week one week is equal to seven days now, if we calculate that in seven days, so with the how many pages read it, then we should say that in seven days, that means in one week, she reads that page in one week. Okay. Now we will calculate in seven days how many pages is read by the by the um, girl Shabita. Okay. So we can write down here now <coughs> how many uh, pages she did so page will be in the right side you should write down okay pages will be come in the right side okay in one day we can write down now as shabita reads shabita reads 
then you can use comma so with that it's in one day six pages because pages is need to calculate that's why page should be on the right side in one day six pages therefore in how many days in seven days in seven days how many pages we need to calculate what should we do what will be our operation look my dear students in the same line there are two units one is day one is pages and the units are different that's why you should multiply or we should divide now if we have in the right side in the first line right side one then you should divide is it one in the right side first line right side is it one no it's six so we can't divide directly now look at the left side in the left side we have one day then it is increased by seven that's why we will multiply because when increase something we will add or multiply that's why we should multiply here because of the opposite sign and the increasing in general we should multiply okay so seven multiply by six phases will be rate by shabita in seven days that means in one week that's equal to four uh, it's seven multiply six is 42 <coughs> it's 42 phases you can write down here also to do rough here seven multiply six equal to 42 this means that shabita reads in seven days 42 pages but the question says that is not seven days in the question we have in one week that's why you should write down another line here okay therefore therefore shabita <coughs> reads 42 pages in one week one week seven days means in one week but we need to write down in words there okay shabita reads 42 pages in one week the answer will be 42 pages 42 pages okay my dear students i hope you have understood how to solve this two problem okay see you again inshallah with a new topic till then allah Hafiz.